Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to use uh, Merly, which is uh, an algorithm for image despeckling. Um, so we have developed uh, at the moment uh, two different uh, networks using this uh, self-supervised approach. One which works with the high resolution spotlight uh, images uh, from the satellite uh, Terrasar X. And the other one works with the strip map images, uh, always from the satellite Terrasar X. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download some uh, images from the uh, Airbus uh, website. There are some sample images that are available for the two image modalities that I have mentioned. And you will see how to download them and how to read them so that uh, they are in the correct input format. And uh, we will see how to test uh, Merlin uh, in order to um, produce the noise the results. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work uh, with the high resolution spotlight images, but it's uh, completely equivalent for uh, strip map images. Uh, so first of all, we will uh, download the notebook. So the download has started. And uh, then we will open it on Google Code. OK, so we are going to go to the uh, upload uh, window. And uh, we are going to choose the notebook we have just uh, downloaded. OK, so this is loading the uh, notebook. And there we go. So the settings uh, should already allow you to use uh, the uh, GPU. If it's not the case, you can go on runtime, change runtime. Uh, type and then you select the GPU. So it's already the case by default, but in case it's not, uh, you can do that. Okay, so uh, now we have to uh, go get the data from the Airbus website. So we will do that. So we click on the link which is available on the, uh, on the notebook, so which will open the window. Uh, so here we are on the Airbus website and uh, we can search some sample images. So in order to fetch uh, some high resolution spotlight data, you go on radar imagery and data. Then you select again radar imagery. And then you have uh, a choice between uh, different image modalities of the Terrasar X uh, sensor. Um, so in this case, we will upload high resolution spotlight images. If you want to run it with the strip map data, then you will have to open the other notebook and select uh, strip map data. But in this case, uh, we will show you, uh, I will show you an example on uh, high resolution spotlight. So we will search for data. And uh, I will download uh, this image data because uh, the uh, image is available in single look complex format. So we have the real and imaginary part, which are necessary uh, because we need to process um, the complex image using uh, Merlin. So um, we click on the image and then we click on download. We have to fill all the fields uh, with uh, uh, some information. Uh, then you can select, uh, I selected the personally remote sensing uh, and uh, that I wanna visualize the data. Um, then you have to select uh, some stuff to verify that you're not a robot, you agree. And then you click on download, which uh, I have already done it. So you will receive on the email address that you indicate, you will receive a link, an email, uh, with a link to download the data you have requested. So then you click on the downloadable link and uh, you will receive a compressed folder with the data. So we decompress it. So in this case, I double click on the folder, uh, but you can also unzip it using the, the terminal. So I'm going to open the folder in order to get the image data, which is contained in this uh, folder in image data. So here is the data we are interested in. So um, we have to upload this on Google Colab. So that's uh, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select, uh, uh, I'm going to go on the, on the left and I will uh, click on the folder icon and then I will select uh, upload 
and I will select the image data, which is in COSAR format. So I'm going to choose it. And then, OK, here is just uh, um, an alert saying that uh, when you will close uh, the session, you will lose the data that you upload. OK, so uh, the data is being uh, uploaded. Uh, in case the file is too big and uh, it takes too long to upload the data, you can also uh, take the uh, load uh, COSAR uh, function that is available on the GitLab web page, and you can download it locally in order to uh, read your image data and crop a small part of the image you are interested in. OK, well, the uh, uploading has finished. So now we have our image data, uh, which is uh, right here. Uh, if you need to refresh, you can tap on this uh, icon. Um, so now that we have uh, fetched the data, uh, we can download the, the uh, network weights from the uh, GitLab repository, uh, as well as the uh, load the COSAR function. Uh, that's the function that allows to, okay, so I'm going to refresh, that allows to read data in the COSAR format and put it into a NumPy array, which will be an array with uh, three dimensions. So the first dimension will be the number of lines. The second dimension will be, uh, sorry, the first dimension will be the number of columns. The second one, the number of lines. And the third dimension will be equal to two, because in the first channel, we will, um, we will save the real part of the single loop complex image. And in the second channel, um, we will save the imaginary part. Um, so everything is done uh, automatically in the, uh, in the Python function that we have uh, loaded. Um, because we will process uh, separately the uh, real and the imaginary part uh, as it is uh, explained in the, in the article. Uh, okay, so here we have the, um, the code. In the checkpoint folder, there are the weights of the train network. And in test data, we will uh, well, either upload um, images in the in NumPy format, uh, or we can read the image that we have uh, that we have uploaded. Uh, so here we just have to complete. So I've already completed it, uh, but you have to uh, copy path and uh, paste it into uh, into the uh, costumat uh, function that translates the uh, COSAR format into a matrix. Uh, and then I have uh, selected as a crop of the image of size uh, 1024 pixels by 1024 um, because it will just be uh, faster than uh, process all the image, which is uh, a really big, uh, a really big image. Uh, okay, so here it is uh, converting the image and uh, it has saved the image the image data uh, into the test data uh, folder. So now here we have it. I have called the image test image data, but you can actually uh, give the, the name you want. Uh, OK, so then we will uh, uh, uninstall the current version of TensorFlow and then install the version which has the right compatibility with our framework. So it will just uh, take some time, but everything will be uh, will be done uh, on, on Google Colab. Um, so, uh, but in case you want to run, of course, the notebook uh, locally on your machine, um, you, can, uh, you can, of course, do it. You will just have to install uh, all the necessary packages uh, by yourself. But it's, uh, it's of course, possible. Um, OK, so then we will uh, perform the test on the uh, test image data that we have uh, created, which, uh, as you have seen, it's, uh, it's a simple uh, NumPy array with uh, two dimensions uh, on the third axis, the first one being the, uh, the real part and the second one being the uh, imaginary part. Um, and um, when we're going to perform the test on the, on the image, 
uh, we are going to see the output appearing in the test folder, which will be uh, created uh, right here. And uh, OK, so now we are able to run the test. So um, when we test, it's going to automatically look for data for all the uh, all the NumPy arrays that are contained in test data. So you can also have like uh, any number of images you want inside here. If you have more than one, um, it will do the test uh, sequentially on, on all the images. Um, so the testing has been done. So if we refresh in the test folder, we have all the NumPy arrays as well as the uh, PNG for the uh, for the noisy image, uh, the real and the uh, imaginary part. And then when we compute the test, we first um, estimate the reflectivity from the real part. That's what we have here. So that's the uh, reflectivity. So the denoised image estimated from the real part. Then we have the reflectivity estimated from the imaginary part. And then we, um, we average the two estimations to produce the final estimation, which is uh, the uh, final denoised image. For each uh, NumPy array, um it uh, it is automatically generated the associated png image so here we can have a look for instance at the at the noisy image uh, and in order to visualize the noisy image um, we estimate a threshold on the uh, on the on the noisy image and then we keep the same threshold for all the uh, all the data uh, that we are visualizing so that all the images will be uh, plotted um, with values within the same range. So here you have the, um, the noisy image, and we can see the final denoised estimator. So there we have it. So that's the result produced by Merlin on this uh, um, high resolution spotlight image. So we see the, the quality of, uh, of the details. So it's uh, a really heterogeneous zone because we have uh, a new urban area um, and uh, and other other zones that uh, have been uh, well uh, denoised by the network. So homogeneous areas uh, are left homogeneous. So we don't uh, uh, introduce uh, spurious structures. But areas that are strongly textured, like here we have some vegetation, so we can see the uh, we can see the the shadows, uh, characteristic of the um, SAR image geometry, and we see that they have been uh, preserved. So we have uh, really good uh, denoising uh, performances. So if you want, you can uh, download uh, the uh, NumPy array to do. Uh, all the all the processing that uh, that you want, or you can just uh, visualize the uh, the images. So thank you for having uh, watched this uh, video, and uh, I hope it's uh, clear enough to um, to be able to run all the tests uh, you need.